Welcome back to Life is Strange Part 21. Oh my god, this game is so sad and intense. I have to stop Kate from committing suicide. Things will get better. You matter not just to me. You matter not just to me. You matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. I'm here for you. Oh my god, I have to choose the right answer. I am her friend, and I am here for her, but what the fuck am I supposed to say? <gasps> oh my god, you're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Dude, oh my, are you fucking serious? I've been there for this bitch through everything i wanted to be there i wanted to give her constructive like opinions and unbiased opinion telling her she needs proof in order to accuse someone of rape or you know being molested and stuff like that so she doesn't look like the idiot at the end of the day you know what i mean and of course she wants to turn this all on me no she's not gonna blame me for her going to like commit fucking suicide fucking no like, God, why ask for my opinion and just, like, be sad or mad over it? Like, I just don't understand. And now this situation went so out of hand. If I knew this shit was going to happen, I would have told her to go straight to the police. This is so fucking sad. Like, this game is getting me in my feelings. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gathering pr proof. I wasn't sure. I needed more time. Too dangerous for us. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gathering proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. There are billions of videos. Everybody will forget. Be strong. Oh, my God. I won't say everybody will forget because, I mean, maybe when they get older, they'll forget because it's not. I mean, I guess it's serious being a high school teenager. But then once you get older and you're comfortable with your sexuality and stuff like that, you might feel a little uncomfortable because, you know, somebody did that shit against your will. But at the end of the day. Everybody is born naked. Sex is a natural part of life. You know, people enjoy it if they want. It's fine. It's, it's like, it's okay if it's between two consenting adults. But never mind. Maybe I'm kind of wrong. Yeah, I would feel uncomfortable if I got raped or something bad happened to me and a bunch of people viewed my video. But I'm pretty sure people would forget as she got older. So I don't know if, um, if I should put... Everybody will forget, be strong, or there are billions of videos. I'll say be strong, because oh, I'll be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Oh, good. You're my friend. Forever. How, how can you say can I'm full of crap? No. 
Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What? Did you just say you were going to come with me? Your father, your sisters, your brothers, your mother. I'm going to say your mother. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No. <gasps> Kate, please stop. Oh my god, no. Listen, this isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. Suicide is a sin. Proverbs 21:15. Oh my god, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about the Bible. But suicide, except for, I guess I know suicide is a sin, so maybe I should say that. Oh my god, I hope I'm not taunting her. Oh god, I'm so sorry guys if I choose the wrong answer, but I'm going to say suicide is a sin, because I don't know what Proverbs 21:15 or Matthew 11:28 is. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. <gasps> no! Oh, I... What? <gasps> oh! My fucking God! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. Shut the fuck up. You're a horrible the principal. Of every student more seriously. Well, whatever. Bullshit. What you only care about Nathan. In a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Oh my god. Nathan dosed her, David bullied her, Jefferson made her cry. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. I think all three of them were an asshole. But Nathan is the biggest fucking asshole, and David is an asshole too. So it's between those two. Nathan or David? Nathan or David? Fuck, I don't know who to pick. Nathan Doster, fuck him. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. Field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, 
I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Go. Excuse me. At least his ass got suspended. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, oh, Ms. shut Caulfield, the fuck up, Nathan. I'm here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Oh my god, what? Should I go back and try the other options? But fucking Nathan deserves it. Okay, guys, I'm most definitely going to choose Design Nathan. This and you're done with this episode of Law and Order. Oh my god. Okay, I was going to go back and see the other options with Mr. Jefferson and the fucking security guard, but Nathan fucking deserves it. I fucking hate his bitch ass. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Oh my god. Is there any way I can go all the way back? Thanks for watching.